I'm Anna Gray. I'm the curator of the Street and the Art of War exhibition at the National Gallery of Australia. The Art of Street and Exhibition is a selection of street and art done during the First World War, all in 1918 and then after the war back in his studio in London in his memories of his experiences at the front. It focuses on the technological side of the war because this was the first war when technology played a major part. So when Streeton depicts a tank, he shows you a powerful machine which is doing damage to people, but he's also showing metaphorically what is happening to people. He writes on the image of a tank, it's done its bit meaning that people also have done their bit and have got damaged. In a wonderful painting, lyrical view of a landscape with men bathing, washing themselves after being in all the mud of the trenches, he shows a splosh. An indiscriminate shell has landed in the lake. It's landed some distance from the men, but it could have landed on the men and could have landed on Streeton. He doesn't have to tell you any more than that to tell you what a terrible war it was. It also shows how modern Streeton could be. It shows him as a very, very capable watercolorist. We don't very often see his watercolors, but he's at the top of his ability in doing these watercolors. He's also absorbed aspects of modern art, but in a representational way. It shows him as an artist who had experienced the effects of war, who had described it as being one of the most important jobs he did in his whole life. Streeton wanted his art to be seen by people all round Australia. These are works which are of importance to our nation. These are works which are there for everybody for people in future years to know what had taken place because he thought it was so important that they understand the sacrifice which so many men had made.